Hey, what's up guys? I'm back and today I'm bringing you a video on how you can get your hands on every piece of artwork in this game. This is another exploit video just like the last couple videos I've made. And real quickly, I just want to thank Toast, a member of our Discord. She introduced me to this strategy as I was completely unaware this was actually a thing. Now, if you guys want to, feel free to join the community Discord via the link in the description. There we help each other out with our designs, glitches, exploits, and trading. We also host plenty of giveaways where I'm giving away my star, fragment trees, and hundreds and Nook Miles tickets. I want to thank you all for the support. We just hit 400 members on that Discord server and we are getting close to 2,000 subscribers. I read and appreciate every single comment and it all means a lot to me. Alright, so I'm going to split this video into two parts. The first will explain the method, and the second is going to be a super efficient guide on how you can tell which paintings and statues are fake and which are real. Timestamps will be in the description, and without further ado, let's get straight into the method. So step one is you're obviously going to want red to show up on your island. Now the quickest way to do this is to simply time travel one day forward, check to see if his icon is on your map, and repeat over and over until he arrives. Now it might take 5 to 10 minutes, but once you see that icon at the top of your map indicating that he has arrived at your island, you're going to want to run there and take a look at his inventory. Now keep in mind, while you can purchase both of the items being sold on the right of his store, Red only allows you to purchase one artwork a day. That makes collecting artwork incredibly painful. Now that's why we are here to beat this fox at his own mischievous ways. Now once you've purchased the artwork you want, immediately follow what you see on screen and time travel another day forward. Once you've saved and loaded back onto your island, your artwork will arrive in the mail and Red will be gone. But not for long. Now all you have to do is time travel backwards a day and you know it, he will be back at your island with a completely fresh inventory. Now before I get people asking me, no, if Red arrives at your island on the 15th of June, you cannot wait a week or so and go back to the 15th expecting him to be there. It sadly does not work like that and as far as I'm aware, this is the only way to get him to consistently come whenever you choose. And that's about it guys, short and straight to the point. Now I'm going to let the rest of the video play out and it's going to show you guys how you can tell which paintings and which statues are real and which ones are fake. But just before we get into that, I want to shout out my man La Marino. He is my first ever Patreon, and I am very thankful of his contribution to the channel and his support, as well as all of you guys on YouTube, Twitch, and Discord. I appreciate it a lot. And if any of you are interested, I have set up a Patreon. You can find the link in the description. Patreons do get a shout out at the end of every single video. They also get exclusive live streams, an exclusive role, and exclusive permissions on my Discord server. If that's something you're interested in and you want to support the channel, I highly appreciate it. It is not expected at all and I don't need the money as much as some people do at this current point in time so if you feel like giving away some money instead of giving it to me you can donate it to any Black Lives Matter charities and I'll link a couple of them in the description as well. So yeah I won't take up too much of your time I'm not going to talk for the rest of the video. Thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to save this video for later on so if you're ever going back to Red's boat and you need to know which art is fake and which art is real you can click on this video and I will have timestamps in the pinned comment down below not the description it should be in a pinned comment and in the pinned comment i will have a description on each artwork that will describe how you can tell the difference between the real one and the fake one if you can't tell from the visuals on screen because i know it can be tricky with some or some are obvious some are very very similar and it can be hard to tell the difference but yeah i hope this helps at least some of you out if it did leave a like subscribe if you like this type of content i post videos on guides glitches and animal crossing designs and builds but yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video. I hope you all have a good day. Peace.